darling, you have got to help me with this. It is just too good to pour down the drain. You don't want to lose me, do you? Not on your life. Come on, just No, 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 I've had just enough to make me relax. Are you sure? It was a very good year. Oh, yeah? What about 1981? You think 1981 is going to be a good year? Yeah, the best. It's going to be our year, darling. The year of Paige and Dennis Carrington. Oh, I like the sound of that. Me too. I'll tell you, Paige, this sure beats eating alone at Maggie's. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the times Dad joined me. You know, Paige, every time I think of my father sitting alone in that hospital bed, it just... Darling, didn't you tell me that the examining psychiatrist said that Elliot wasn't competent to stand trial? Hospital is the only place for him, Dennis. Yeah, but that doesn't make the pain I feel for him go away. I mean... Darling, he's... please, no more dark thoughts. Not tonight. It still isn't easy. Especially when it's your own flesh and blood. No! 1981 is not going to be the year for all the Carringtons. He gets out of one prison and they lock him up in another one. Dennis, it's not a prison. Oh, it might as well be a prison. Now that Alex has asked Stryker to take Elliot's case, he is going to get the best treatment possible. You know, I talked to Stryker Bellman this afternoon. You did? Yeah, I asked him if he wouldn't mind setting it up so that I could see Dad. Darling, do you think that was wise? Paige, I'm not going to let him sit and rot in that hospital. You know my mother isn't going to visit him. I'm all he's got. Don't you understand that? Sweetheart, I think certainly you should see Elliot sooner or later. But I just, I don't think you should push it. I think you should let Alex take care of it. No! Don't no, I'm not going to let Alex Wheeler take care of anything, Paige. You are being very hard on Alex. He is bending over backwards to make sure that Elliot is being taken care of. Now, as soon as Elliot is committed... No, that's not going to happen to him. What's the matter with everyone lately, anyway? Everyone's just abandoning him, they that's all. They are not abandoning him, Yes, that's him, the same Dennis. thing. What's the difference? And what's more, I'm sick and tired of having Alex Wheeler shoved down my throat. Alex Wheeler happens to be a very kind and a very thoughtful man, and I think you should be very glad to have him as your father. He is not my father. That's exactly the point. Elliot is my father. And I want him to know that he's loved, and that there's still somebody in this lousy world who cares what happens to him. And I want him to work his way back to normal. And the sooner that happens, Paige, the better. Dennis, how can you say that the man tried to murder Look, someone? Look, who knows what's going through his mind right now, what demons are driving him. You know, you might have tried to murder someone, too, if you were caught in the prison in Cambodia. Lost. I know that would make me crazy, Paige. Darling, you are being much too emotional. All right, I know I'm being emotional. You're damn right I'm being emotional. Dennis, I don't think that you ought to act on this until you have a chance to calm down and figure out what you're going to do. I'm going to see my father as soon as Stryker Bowman makes the arrangements. And there's nothing you or anybody else can do that's going to stop me. There might be one thing. Listen, there's nothing you can say to turn me against my father, I am Paige. not trying to turn you against All anyone, All right, then Dennis. what are you saying? That there is something you should know. Oh, who is it? Oh, excuse me, boss. Uh, I can't pick up the dirty dishes. Oh, terrific. Did I come at a bad time? Would you just take the dishes, Junior? Yes, ma'am. Uh, if you don't have anything real pressing for me, uh, my shift's almost over. I'd like to get out a little early. I got some big plans tonight. You always have big plans. No, these are really big ones. I mean, uh, 
Well, they involve a, an old friend of yours, Mr. Christopher Shaw. Would you just get out of here and finish what you're going to do? As long as you are here, I am losing business. Thanks, boss. Shaw. Why does that name sound familiar? I don't know. Wait a minute, isn't he that guy that showed up at the wedding reception? A friend of yours? Oh, yes. Oh, oh I completely forgot. I, I guess it's just because I haven't seen him in such a long time. Well, who is this Chris Shaw, anyway? find a weather report, but I'm not having much luck. And why, Brayton, are you concerned about the weather? Were you planning to go to the beach tomorrow? No, but I was planning on doing the laundry, and I wanted to know if it was going to rain. Well, what does one have to do with the other? If it's sunny, I can hang all the clothes out on the line to dry. Vivian, we don't have a line. I can devise one. Where did you come up with this nonsense? It's not nonsense. My mother used to do it all the time back on the farm. It makes the clothes smell really fresh. Well, we are not on the farm, in case you hadn't noticed, dear. The noise you're making with this radio is getting on my nerves. Well, I am sorry, Mrs. Ben... I'm sorry, Mrs. Wheeler. Just sorry, Mrs. Put Carrington. this on one station and leave it there. All right? Perfectly. Now what is the matter? Nothing. Vivian, something is up that you're not telling me about. 